Right, let's cross borders now. South Sudan's President Salva Kiir failed to sign a peace deal proposed by regional leaders saying he requires more time. Igad mediator for the regional Seyum Mesfin said Kiir's side required two weeks before signing the peace deal that was accepted by the South Sudanese rebels. The mediator said the South Sudanese will return to Addis Ababa in the next 15 days to finalize the peace agreement. By the time South Sudan's rebel leader Rek Mashar and Pagan Amum, the Secretary General of the ruling Sudan's People's Liberation Movement, took to the podium to put pen to paper, it had been evident that many had anticipated this moment. Most of them clinging to some optimism over whether both warring factions would agree to finally bring the conflict to an end. The deal was signed on the very last day, perhaps a clear indication that the mediation team had not had a bed of roses as they tried to meet the demands of both teams. IGAD Plus, the expanded mediation team from the regional body IGAD and several other interested nations, had for months been engaged in shuttle diplomacy with sharing of power being the bone of contention. And even as rebel leader Rek Mashar was invited to the podium to speak after signing the deal, he could not help but express his disappointment over the fact that President Salva Kiir did not sign the deal personally. Lead mediator Seyu Mesfin was however quick to clarify that only former detainees and rebels signed the deal, stating that government had its reservations and would sign it in 15 days. Details of the deal still scanty, but sources who attended the historic signing say that it established a hybrid court to prosecute those accused of crimes in South Sudan. The biggest beneficiaries of the peace deal will however be the people of South Sudan, human rights organizations say, as thousands have been killed and millions left displaced, forced to survive on relief food supplied by the United Nations. Ian Wafula, KTN News.